All right, guys, welcome back. CFP here, and this is Survival 11. So today we have another weekly prep. Now, this one here was a doozy for us because we also got some other things that we just don't have on film. I'm going to go ahead and pop that up for you. We went ahead and got some fuel. We needed more fuel stockpile because with the threat of war around the world, I'm kind of worried about fuel supply. So we actually keep fuel on hand, and we keep fuel hidden. So we went ahead and picked up an additional 20 gallons of fuel. Our red containers are 5 gallons a piece. It comes at 10. And then our larger container is a 10-gallon jug. So, guys, get fuel put back if you are dependent on running a gas-powered generator, diesel generator, or if you're planning on driving a vehicle, you need to get some fuel put back. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get some non-essential stuff out of the way. Okay, so last week we went ahead and ordered and finally got in another charge controller. This is a 40-amp charge controller. Um, this way that we have additional charge controllers on hand, we have expanded our solar grid on top of the trailer, so we needed some more of these charge controllers. Now, I know a lot of people say, hey, why don't you just get one large charge controller to run it all? I'd rather have our system separated. That way, if one was to go out, we still can limp by on a system with other charge controllers. Instead of everything on one charge controller, we have the ability to still generate power if one goes down. All right, let me get that out of the way. Sorry, guys, I'm still working with a bummed finger, which is healing up quite nicely. It just makes things difficult trying to operate. <laughs> All right, moving along. We got our splitter cables. This is for our solar grid. All right, MC4 connectors. This is where we can split off and hit four solar panels at once. I'll tie it into one run to one charge controller. Next up, guys, I showed this during a live stream. I went ahead and bought a small kit. For soldering, now I do have soldering irons, but I need to get a new one anyway, so I figured why not test this one out. So, so far, it seems to be doing okay. Now, is it as good as the most expensive soldering iron? No, this thing was under under 20 bucks, and it's been working out all right. All right, guys, cigarettes. And tobacco. These are picked up as bartering items. And yes, I do smoke. And yes, I do dip. This is the cheaper brand. This is Kayak. I've dipped it in the past. Personally, I like Stokers. Oh, yeah. Um, but you know what? Each their own. Don't ever start smoking and dipping. It's not good for your health. I'm going to go and put that disclaimer up there for you. I hear it all the time. Yes, I'm not an idiot. I know smoking is bad for you. I know dipping is bad for you. I've been dipping since I was 12. I've been smoking for, you know, almost about the same time. I have no cancer. I have no anything developed. Now, can you get cancer and stuff like that from cigarette smoking, dipping? Yes, of course. I'm not denying that. But we want to put things back. We're bartering items. And also, we keep tobacco put back because I like to smoke and I like to dip. So, along with that, coffee. This is instant, all right? Instant lasts a very long time in our preps. So, another perk of something nice to have during SHTF. A cigarette and a cup of coffee. Are you kidding me? Freaking great. Speaking of morale boosters, guys, we picked up a whole bunch of Kool-Aid, all right? Water d has no taste. And if you got water that does have taste, there might be an issue going on. You might want to filter out your water. But when I picked up Kool-Aid, guys, we've shown in the past all the sugar and all the flour and stuff that we have vacuum sealed and stored up. All right, we have shown where I, I buy tea because I drink a lot of tea. Um, as a drink substitute, you know, just to change things out because when everything stops, all you have is what you got. All right, so Kool-Aid, you know, two of these makes a gallon. All right, plus add your sugar. You don't have to add sugar if you don't want sugar. But personally, add sugar. It just tastes so much better. So, yeah, we got a whole bunch of this stuff here. I think we paid 20 cents, 25 cents a piece. Not bad. All right, moving on. We have instant cheese-flavored grits. This is from our local Piggly Wiggly store. Um... 12 packets in each one. You just heat up your water, mix it up and everything. Just add boiling water. You can microwave it. Just, it works great with just boiling water. It really does. All right, guys. So, I forgot what we paid for it, but I like having breakfast. All right. So, we went and picked up two more of these. Now, 
We also got four cans of the Wolf Brand Chili No Beans Angus Beef. Unfortunately, we were running a little tight after buying everything as for solar and everything. Our fuel cost us um, 60 bucks for 20 gallons. Freaking crazy. Right at. All right, we got Hormel Chili with beans. We got four cans of that. Walmart. This is a stop at Walmart here. Same with the Wolf Brand. We got three cans of the cooked ham. This is all that they had on the shelf was three cans, which sucked. I was planning on buying a whole bunch more. So instead, we went ahead and got this chili here and that chili to make up for this. Because I was going to buy as many of those things as I could, which turns out I did. There's only three. Uh, three cans of Spam. They did not have the turkey this time. I was really interested in, I mean, we like the turkey flavored uh, Spam that they had. The turkey Spam. It was actually pretty good and I was going to buy some more of it. They did not have any more. Next up, we got vegetable oil. This is from our Piggly Wiggly store. 48 fluid ounces. One quart, one pint. We've got two jars of that. Keep cooking oil on hand. It doesn't have to be vegetable oil. It could be canola oil, olive oil, whatever. Whatever you prefer. Vegetable oil, I like vegetable oil, so we use it. All right, guys. So we've also got six cans of chunk light tuna. Now, with everything going on with Fukushima... They're fixing to dump radioactive water right into the ocean. Over one point some million tons of radioactive water. Guys, if you plan on eating seafood or anything like that from the ocean in the future, you might want to go ahead and start canning up stuff. Now, I always hear all the time, dude, you shouldn't have tuna because of the mercury content. Yada, yada, yada. Is it true? Now, I've, I've read that mercury content is real heavy in tuna. Also, other fish and pretty much everything in the ocean. So it's up to you. You don't have to buy what I buy. I'm just telling you right now, if you're planning on buying food in the future from the sea, you might want to get it now. All right, guys, so we went ahead and got us another uh, sample pack from Legacy. Yes, we are affiliated with Legacy, guys. Legacy Food Store, 25-year shelf life. Yes, it is in the video because this is what we bought. It finally did come in. We've been buying a lot of the sample packets, guys, and just stocking up our long-term foods with these. Um, but because we purchased it as a weekly prep, I want to show you it. So I'm going to set this off to the side and keep on moving. All right, guys. So I don't ever show much fruits. I've shown vegetables and stuff like that. And the fact is, I don't eat much fruits. But we do stock it up. All right, these are the mandarin oranges. We got, uh, oh, man, six, eight cans. This was up there at Piggly Wiggly store. It was about a buck each. I like mandarins. I do. I like the flavor of these. Most fruit, the reason I don't eat fruit is because I just don't like the taste of most fruit. And it's just me. Uh, so we stock these up. Uh, we do have other fruits stocked up. We have the fruit cocktails, things like that stocked up in our stocks. The reason why we don't show it all the time is because we're not buying it all the time. We just don't eat a lot of fruit in our house. So this is our rotational stock. All right, from my Walmart run, we got four cans of the Great Bay Chicken chunk chicken breast this stuff is great guys i have been using this for a very long time and that's why we keep on buying it it's great stuff all right piggly wiggly store shells and cheese dinners all right now we we got uh five five boxes of this um the shells and dinners i do like because we also get the macaroni which i'm dropping everything bum finger we got the that smart macaroni. This is from the Piggly Wiggly store. And actually, the price is freaking great. It's like 33 cents for macaroni there. Now, the dinners are a little bit more uh, expensive because it's just, you know, they're, they're a dinner. These are actually pretty good, though. So, we got five of the shell and cheese dinners. And we got one, two, three, four, ten of our macaroni. Now, we get macaroni from everywhere. Now, this macaroni, guys, what do we do with it? This is a cardboard box. We open this up, we pour the contents in a vacuum seal bag, a food saver bag. We throw in our cheese packet and we vacuum seal ours. All of our pastas, all of our rice, all of our beans, we vacuum seal. Now, I will put in a disclaimer, make sure that you treat your rice, beans, things like that. Make sure you freeze things to get rid of weevil eggs and things like that. I've done videos on that. I don't repeat that all the time. I keep seeing the comments, well, you forgot to say blah, blah, blah. I have never forgotten to say Jack. I've already done the video. I'm not going to keep repeating myself. It's up to you to look and see and watch the video. That's just the way it is. All right, guys. So other than this, we did have to buy some new things for the channel, new tripods and stuff like that. Pop that up for you. 
we're always working on improving the channel as much as possible, making better lighting, things like that, better editing software. So I'm always working on something just trying to improve the channel. I also went ahead and picked up that. That is a hoodie. CFP Survival Living Hoodie. That is with our Teespring, guys. I just ordered that. It should be coming in sometime at the end of the month because it takes nearly a month to get this stuff from Teespring. It's just the way it is. But yes, guys, I will be doing more promoting of my channel. And we got on the vehicle. I've got my a good old coffee mug. Yeah. So there you go, guys. There's your swag right there. If you don't want to buy it, hey, don't buy it. You don't have to. Anyway, guys, y'all take care. Please, please start prepping. If you have not prepped, do it now before you don't have any time. All right, get some food. Get some morale booster foods. Get stuff put back. When the dollar drops, if global conflict hits, any of these major events, it's going to be hard. You really think that you're going to be able to find food like this? You're not. It's going to be very difficult. Food is going to be rationed. Get your food put back. Get your food hidden. Get your fuel put back. Get it hidden. All right, guys. Y'all take care. Speak to y'all later.